And one job is to make people happy and both our internal customers, which are our colleagues, and then obviously our, our guests. And if you have if your internal uh, customers are happy, then obviously your external guests are going to, going to be happy. So, so that's certainly going to be there. So, so attitude is, is everything and I think is, is key. Um, and it's also being able to, to anticipate the needs of, uh, of, of your guests, of your boss, uh, to, to ensure that you know you, you stay ahead of the game. Look, we're, we're becoming more and more digital every day. For example, now we've launched three e-commerce platforms um, with, within our hotels. Uh, so, so you know, you, you need to understand uh, how that how that e-commerce world works, um, because ultimately people are buying everything, or not everything, but majority of things online now. Those that um, are digitally savvy, that uh, that enjoy innovation, that want to make a difference and, and, and change the way things things work, uh, we'll, we'll do very well. And unfortunately, through um, through this crisis, we have lost many great people from our industry that have decided to go to new industries. So that actually gives an opportunity for those looking to join our industry. It's now actually a great time because there's many opportunities in our industry to grow. And if you come in with the right attitude and you're proactive, then you, you can have a, a great career and you can grow fairly quickly. I, I certainly don't think we'll lose our human touch. I mean, the human touch is, is a part of our DNA. It's why we got into this industry. It's a very social industry. It's an industry where you want to meet, you want to greet guests. You, you know, we're, we're in the business of delighting people and making them happy. So I think the technology that we continually put into the business will be there to assist our colleagues in, in doing an even better job in servicing our and looking after our guests. You know, as technology comes in and, and assists us, you know, that, that, that will change the scope of some roles. Um, you know, so technology will be there to assist, but <clears throat> I certainly think the roles that we have today will continue, especially from an operational point of view. Perhaps some of the, um, the harder house roles might change differently as technology is more advanced and, uh, and can, can assist in the, the way we do things uh, in, in the harder house. I certainly don't think it's, um, it's, it's going away. I, I think it's here to stay. And I think it's gonna be very, very important going forward, uh, even in a post COVID-19 world. Sustainability is still going to be a key, and I think things like the aquaponics farm that we have in our complex, you'll see more and more of it, whether it's aquaponics, hydroponics, um, you know, coming to the forefront. You'll see a lot less uh, single-use plastic being used uh, with, with, within hotels, as hotels, you know, re realize that we need to hand over the planet uh, to the next generation in a, um, in, in a in the proper manner. Um, you know, you'll, you'll see more e-commerce, as I said earlier, you know, um, we, we have to diversify our businesses and, and there's, there's opportunities um, through this crisis to, to have an understanding, well, what else as a hotel can we do? And, and we, we've already found three different opportunities that we've already launched and, and there's more to come. Uh, so, you know, your hotels where we've been just reliant on rooms and food and beverage income will have different revenue streams. So their P&Ls will look differently. They'll have, you know, you know like I said, e-commerce businesses on there. Um, so, so it's a great opportunity for hotels to really make the most of this crisis, come out of it looking differently with new revenue streams, which will set them up well for the future.